Greetings YouTube, it's the 26th of April and have made minor progress in regards to, I decided just to weld a nut to the bottom of the frame, which you can see there in all its glory, and that will enable me to put a bolt through and it will enable me to have it at three different heights. But really I was sort of procrastinating a lot about what to do, so that is a quick fix to get it uh, how we want it. These are obviously the frame mounts one goes on one side one goes on the other and then the bolt goes through and that will all be lined up perfectly uh, with regards to the bearing what i've done for now you can see the id of the bearing is slightly bigger than the od of the pipe and there's just not really a lot you can do about that uh, so we'll have to use some kind of wedge in here that having that wedge just makes it feel a lot more stable while i'm working on it with regard to the bolts i don't know if they're going to get welded on i haven't decided yet I still plan on making something to cover up that bad weld and join up along here. Some good news is I have actually ordered the bearings and the shaft and some more collars. So, uh, but yeah, that is progress because when the stuff turns up, I can start mounting the stuff on and uh, get that thing sorted with that beauty, which has just been sat there waiting for its turn. Uh, worth noting, there's very little wind at all at the minute. Uh, so not expecting any power for certainly a few days. I just had to come back out and get some measurements. Uh, just a reminder that from front to back, that's 88 centimetres, just shy of three feet. Uh, these things take up quite a lot of space, eight inches long, 20 centimetres. Uh, the width of the frame, the inside of the frame is eight inches, just over 20 centimetres. This, this bit is nine and a quarter inches 23 and a half centimeters the bearing is 140 millimeter square so that's the measurements are needed oh one more need to know how long this is because nothing's ever planned 10 and a quarter inches 26 centimeters just a reminder of this beauty that is 10 inches wide i reckon obviously i can't measure it it's pointless measuring it like that so it's about 10 inches wide We don't want that falling off the table and that's about 80 millimeters 75 to 80 millimeters thick and very heavy and chunky with the chunky wires that's just waiting for its turn to go in there the other job i need to do is i need to make some bits of metal to fit over here to stop the motor falling out and then i have to buy some roller chains to make some device where i can tighten and loosen the chain uh, that's on the list of stuff I need to buy. Sweet. And I've obviously, uh, I've explained before that a bolt goes through there and everything gets nice and tightened up. Sweet. And these tighten up to block it all in place. Sweet. And now, at the minute, the frame can't be moved back and forward. It's just sat there. But I thought with ordering the bearings, we need to get it in a set position. So as soon as the stuff turns up, I can crack on. Sweet. This is approximately where the motor is going to go in here and we can have a bearing here a bear we've got enough space for a bearing here we've got that much space uh, and then we've got space for a bearing here going over that one and one at the front i've only ordered three uh, they're this size so it'll be approximately one here one either side of the motor but yeah i'm going to try and crack on and make those bits so that i can show you it with the motor in if that makes sense it's going to be very light compared to my other turbine very light even in my state of weakness i could still lift this off uh, the thing i haven't really talked about is the tail because i don't actually know what i'm doing about the tail until we get everything on and sized up properly if let's say that one's at zero and then this one's two or three mil higher up than it's supposed to be and that one's bolted down you're going to cause a bow in the shaft and that's why I haven't been able to progress with the bits I need to do until I get the shaft and the bearings and then everything can sit in place. This is obviously a very old one. I don't think that that'll be making it onto the wind turbine. So yeah, that's the update for now. 